so it is Friday. Friday, what today is I believe it's the 11th. And I'm just finished wrapping up with work. And I'm actually heading to Coke's right now to get some goodies. There's only one thing in particular I believe I may actually actually get. So I'm going to True Heart, which is you'll see when I reach there. I'm going to the telemetry and my cousin wants me to order something for her. So I'm going to go there right now before I head to court. You notice I bring back a little work week situation because I'm tired of plotting my hair. So that's what you're seeing right here right now. So I'm heading to um, Ports right now. bedroom on the side i just want to see what's there it's actually fake but i think this will look cute in my room oh. i also love those plants over there for a free 49 yeah look a bit pricey for me right now okay this is me It sits beside the bed. I love it. Wow. Oh. I've really, like, been on the hunt trying to find uh, a chair to put in my bedroom. I don't know how that's gonna go. But hopefully, when I do get some things that is nice. Yeah, the 
don't see anything that I really like. Let's see. I like this set right here. This would look so cute. sitting and waiting then I'll be on my way. I think I want to pass my house of chocolate just to see if I get something kind of munch on. I just chill for the time being. Nothing too crazy. I should be exactly getting stuff for tomorrow as well but I'm not too sure what may I, I may do. just arrived at home so I went to tune house as I said I would have or I did if I didn't say so so yeah anyways um they were closed I guess as much for the day because I went early this morning they were closed and I went later on after work and they were closed again so I guess as much they did not work yesterday today sorry but yes yeah, so I'm gonna show you the quads that I got from Porso I was actually looking for some white and black material or shuttings from Naus to make some more tops long story short i've done a clean out in my closet where i give my sister's d tops that i would have made and i think no longer serves me so i'm replacing those fabrics that i bought to make some tops again to actually help with what i already have in terms of bottoms um i'll do a whole other video as well um, discussing my work outfit maybe like later on in the year I'm thinking so that maybe like September and give more detail and so forth I have a whole video planned out on it so it enough so enough with me rambling I'm gonna show you guys what I got I actually got a red floral top with some green I'm hoping it matches the skirt at least looks good because I thought it would have been like more so a black deep black color with red florals and you know I love florals yeah so let's let's see it okay so this is the red that I got this is the the shade of red and as you can see it's completely different from this red right here so what I may think I may do is perhaps wear it with um, black bottoms only if I get a shade of green to go with this, like a Scott, that would be awesome. But I don't think I see anything um, with this shade here. Yeah. And then, of course, I love 
cream floral again. So I got this shade of pink. It's like a baby pink with some blue <coughs> floral detailing and so forth for flowers. So this goes perfectly as I imagined. And this is another floral top again that I got. And then I bought this fabric. It's different from these two scubas, skirt scuba, however we call them here. This one is almost like a jersey kind of material. So it, it's a bit thin, so I'll definitely have to make sure I leave those extra room in with um, whenever, whenever I'm wearing these together. So this is going to make a long sleeves top as well as this one here as well. This is going to be a flutter sleeve. I'll put an image up on the screen as well as this. This is a polka dot top. I've been eyeing it for a long time. I'm going to do another. So I'm actually in all these three with flutter sleeves. You'll see sometime. Um, yeah, this one is actually stretch cotton. So when I'm cutting the material, I need to cut it some extra room because it can get a little bit clingy. Um, and yeah, and then I already made a white top like a week back ago, but I had some extra fabric because it was a year and a half that I got, and then I actually have like a flutter sleeve pattern already cut so i just bought a yard so that i can cut the bodice of it and attach those sleeves to it and then i still may be left with some fabric so yeah so that's what i got for now but i think my favorite would have been this if it actually matched the red that's on the skirt but I really love this, how it looks, and I'm definitely going to enjoy these two, as well as the tops. Now, these tops, because of the skirt uh, pattern or fabric detailing, it, it may not look the best with it, but I have a pants that I bought from Shein, which I'm going to wear hopefully sometime soon, and the fabric will look more... Uh, Let's see, appealing or pleasing to the eyes because this has texture and they're all smooth in that sense. So, yeah, so this is a little update with what's going on with my little work right now. Hey guys, welcome back. And it is Thursday, I believe the 17th. So, I know I was supposed to go to um, food fair like last week, Friday, to get some. Um, hygiene stuff that I need to restock on because I don't have any shampoo, no conditioner, almost like almost a month and I need to restock on the deodorant and so forth that I'm using so I have to get some stuff, I need to get some stuff so I'm going to do this later on after I finish work I think food, food fair closes at 5.30 so I'm going to leave like 5 I'm staying back Please after work to finish some work off and then that should be it and also on friday i'm wondering if i should go but i'm not too sure but um cindy is catholic secondary school which is my alma mater they're having their sports and it's been a, a while and i definitely feel like the crowd is going to be big because send david's people support their own you know so i'm excited to go to that i initially initially wanted to a volunteer to help out but because where I work already has something on that day I wouldn't be able to do so and then it starts at 12 there is lights um, in Massachusetts so it would definitely run late if it needs to and I'm so excited about that what I would hope they do in the future is actually renovate the, the pavilion and so forth probably pre create some more bleachers to accommodate more persons that would be nice so yeah so that's what i have planned for thursday friday and then on saturday i'm going to do the q a so that is up for on sunday and then on sunday i want to do um a video straight in my hair it's been a while and i want to see if it actually could work this time because i have a, a tool that i'm going to be using so that's that okay and i also do my nails as usual I did these because I wanted to test out how they were looking in terms of this is orange by the way 
with the gold and so forth. I think it looks cute. And actually, this nail is um, it's broke on the side, and it's actually my natural nail. I really don't want to have to cut it, but if it's not holding up, I may have to. Yeah, and then my birthday is coming up, so all of that, I want to keep it in. So probably try uh, the cucumber this time. This is what I have so far. Do I need anything else? Why is he watching me like that? Oh, I do need. I'm gonna ask you. Me doesn't study that. I saw into my business. Huh? I want a foot fire. Let's see. They don't have the greater one. Yeah. Not, this one is just crystal, it's like sugar syrup. Mm-hmm, I want the file file. I might have to check one of them pharmacy and see if they have. Have you buy any of this? Guys, they don't have any body scrub in terms of what I was looking for. And I have done in my night routine. I switched out the conditioner that I have as well as the shampoo. I don't want to use those. Okay, so it doesn't even have any yogurt or any um, fruits in particular that I would like. So, I guess that's that. I literally left off like after five and the store should close in a few. I said I wanted to try one of these smoothie ones here. You know, probably do my own natural blend. It's not that good, but don't I have money to spare? Yeah. Oh, they've been selling half those, um, how they call it back then, food stuff. But I told it tomorrow, I'll, I'll check and see. Okay, okay. Okay. I thought you would have been more expensive, you know. Oh, yes, yeah, so I'll see you. You're so good. I'm a skin mask. I'll be a good one. 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 using the cocoa radiant with pure cocoa butter uh vaseline jelly that's what it says with my cocoa body cocoa radiant body oil i right, don't mind the color it's actually mixed with this as it's almost finishing up i just decided to to mix them together because that's what i, I would have been doing in my hand really so I used to use this out straight out of the shower just because it I think it, it uh, moistens my skin quicker as well as give it that nice extra soft glowy feel I look shiny in that sense so if you're in shining sis I don't know what you be doing but anyways so I had to refill and get some stuff I still haven't gotten the I haven't not that I haven't gotten it but it's not available at the stores I may have to check the pharmacy because I actually checked Grenada Pharmacy. That's which street lab? I think it's Hills Bar Street. So I checked there and they didn't have, and that was like on Tuesday. Actually, yeah, like that was last week, Thursday. Yeah, so they didn't have. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I may have to source another one if I don't find it. And I'm 
thinking from House of Chocolate, they have those body scrubs. I'll see if I could find that image from when I uh, went there some time back. Um, if not, I'm just going to store and it was like $40 for the scrub and I hope it's good. So I hope. So yeah. So I do have a deodorant. It's actually the Dove. Let me get it quickly. Oh, it was a Suave. So this one, I actually... I need to use your back camera. Okay, anyways, this is what it looks like, right? And I decided to get the, the Dove instead, the cucumber flavor. To go back to spray for now. So I'm no longer using the, the home, like a stick. I got this baby wipes because it's cheap and I just need to use it like when I'm going the oil. So this is what I'll be using to moisturize my skin. Is it open? Oh yeah. So this, I still have some left in these, but they're almost finished. So yeah, I love this smell so, so, so much. As I said, I love fruit flavor and I decided to get the avocado again in the conditioner. I've used them both before and they're really nice. And then I got some panty liners. So this is it for my little self-care shopping spree kind of thing. I still don't get it, the body scrub as I mentioned, but um, I'll work on that. Yeah, and I'm still using my Simple Line products. I do need to get, uh, actually I don't need to right now. I still have some of my face mask, mask products there. Oh, my hair is scratching. So I don't need to get any now but maybe like by the end of the year or so because as i said i still have simple products this so i'm gonna show you that in a few
am home. I'm tired. My hair is itching. I can't wait to wash it tomorrow. Please, the Lord. Um, as you saw in the previous clips, and David's sports was a little, little lit. Okay, it was really fun. And I actually forgot what sports actually felt like, you know, in Grenada. But I mean, due to COVID, and prior to that, we had, um, let's say, the public servants or workers. We had walk to rules. So, like, a lot of the things that we used to enjoy had kind of cut back because of walk to rule. But yeah, it was lovely. I was in Moran House. I wonder if I can find a picture of when I was queen. Actually, I was queen for two years. But did I have any other position? I can't remember, you know. But it was really nice. And Elijah, oh my gosh. He, he doesn't live too far from me. I'm the one who just laughs when he leaves in retreat. Oh my gosh, he did so well. And I pray to God that he makes it in whatever he he endeavors in trust me he really has it for sports in particular i think he can go really far trust me but yeah so without further ado i'm gonna see you guys in the next clip which i don't know what it's gonna be so see you guys later on bye So I am done with and surprisingly, pressing it as you see it doesn't move. Sure, does it doesn't do much, you know? So I'm going to put it back in a bun because so I don't want to do Q&A later. later. Real so hopefully it stays at least in meat enough. I was preparing for the next adventure in Africa with my true love. Even though I knew it meant having to leave behind certain other things like designing, that I... Okay, so this is the bee box I'm about to use. I usually buy the black one, but I don't have any, so I have to use what my sister gave me. Let me turn this thing off before I put it on the place. So I'm more so needed for like my edges. So I'm gonna put it in the palm of my hand like this. And I'm going to rub it so that it melts somewhat. And put it by the hairline area. This is great for if your hair is straightened and you want a sleek look, you know, I highly recommend using bee wax for straight hair, whereas if you use some type of gel, because of the moisture that it holds, it is going to revert your hair quicker than you, you want it. Now, don't mind it looking white in the hair. This is just temporarily, temporary, because you will be brushing it out. So, yeah, so I'm just going to do the top section of the hair. Okay, so I decided to put this on so that I can scrub my face if I actually do the video as well because I find my face is looking a little bit dullish. Today it doesn't look like it shined and then I definitely have to refix this here. So I'm going to be using my brush, my face wash brush. I'm going to mix these two together. I have been doing that lately. Uh, the simple kind of skin refreshing facial wash gel as well as a facial scrub with rice granules. So these two bad boys right here. So I usually just put the gel one on first. It's like halfway, no, it's more than halfway finished. 
but yeah, I'm really glad I was introduced to this product. It was definitely worth it. Although I didn't have to spend a dime. And then I put it right next to it. I definitely wet the brush as well to help with moisture and not damage my skin while brushing it. So yeah. Look how many batteries there. Okay, so I just washed my face. I don't know if you can see or tell how clear it feels or look, sorry, but it feels so amazing. I feel like all the, the dead skin and all of that is out. So now I'm going to go in with my toner from Simple as well. I'm using this cotton powder here to put or apply it on my face. Oops. Yeah, but I just did that. And I'm going to be using a face mask today. Maybe tomorrow when I'm relaxing. And um, yeah, let that dry in and then, then I'm going to put on some lotion, face lotion. Um, so that's that. I don't know if you could see my lip. How dry my lip looks. Hold on. Look how dry my lip. You see how cracked they are? So I'm using my phone to answer the questions and I only have two under my community post. The first person is Princess Vendetta. She's asking or more so wanting advice on how you should maintain being motivated. Hmm. To be honest, I would say praying definitely helps me stay motivated because being motivated by itself or trying to be motivated is is a task you know and i would have to say being positive as well and knowing what you want in whatever circumstances so for example in my case my birthday is coming up and i honestly don't know how things, going, things are going to be because i want to get some personal stuff and i mean the funds the ill funds is not there you know at the moment so I'm trying to stay motivated by, you know, praying as I mentioned and um, starting to plan, you know, having a goal, you know, set in mind so that you know you're working towards that. And of course, if you don't put in the work, then you're not going to see any results, you know, so and what else? Being surrounded by persons or things that will help uplift your spirit as well as, you know, keeping the ball rolling in those aspects you know yeah so avoid negativity as well Michaela Francis she says what will asking sorry what is your biggest dream or goal in life to be honest I would say having to be being able to go in heaven if I'm not going to be going to heaven I don't want nothing else <laughs> simple as that but apart from that I would definitely see being successful in everything that I I put my hands on I definitely need to start seeing if I'm able to start building my own life house my own vehicle working on my career I think I may end up you know in the lines of um, maybe designing maybe clothes or making clothes for persons kind of thing um what else again i do like the kitchen aspect so maybe i may open a little food something in the future i don't know how that's gonna work but my my goals are pretty big in terms of what i have on my plate i don't keep myself limited in that sense but i just want to be successful in everything that i put my hands on that is off god of course you know and then hopefully as well on this channel maybe hopefully it grows into whatever god needs it to grow into yeah so 
Okay, I think that's it for that question. Okay, then we have Peyton. Peyton is asking, what made you start a YouTube channel? To be honest, I think I answered this question um, sometime back as well, but um, I always liked creating videos and content and taking pictures especially. So I was like, you know what, I'm not really much up with the social media, especially Instagram, like I used to before when I was in high school and so forth. So you know what, I felt as though it was great, it was a great way for me to express myself and kind of show certain aspects of who I really am. Although I don't think I'm doing that much, but what you see is what you get in that sense and even better. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share, it's like a little memory, book or gallery kind of thing, storage for me. And you know, just share what I'm about in life, as I mentioned. Yeah, so I don't do it because I want anything really out of it, but it's just me, let's see. Um, she also asked, how do you like your job? Not my job, which I, I clearly don't want here because it separates me from, you know, that. Um, I think it's okay. I'm trying to see what God has in store for me in terms of that job. I don't know where I'm going to go with it or if I'll, I'll be in it for in the long run. I really don't know. You know, as the saying goes, if better comes, I go. But yeah, um, it's cool. I actually like the holidays that I get with it as well. Uh -huh. But it, it can be stressful at times, so you have that. Um, Y'all don't mind the sheep in the background. It's just the sun is hot, okay? So I could imagine. Okay, uh, my relationship status. I don't think I need to say anything about that, but if you want to know, have a look right now. Thank you guys so much for your words. It definitely will have a space in my heart.